In today's video I want to share with you my three favourite ways to take water with me on a run. It's almost a little story really from when I first began running and what I would use then and how the things I take with me changed as I worked out my needs more and also the distances and types of run changed so I needed to take different things with me. Let's get started. So when I first started running, I would take one of these with me, one of these little grip bottles. And this was great for, for quite a long time and it's, it's a perfect thing to start off with. And it was only really as I needed to take more water with me that I changed to something different. So I decided to take a look at running belts and so I read lots of reviews and did my research and ended up buying this one, this Nathan waste pack. Um, and I really liked it. I use this a lot even now. I really love it. Uh, one thing I love is that these bottles are so easy to access when you're out and about. They just slide out of this little little strapping here. So it's sort of an elasticated plastic holder and they're so easy to pop back in. Don't even break your stride. Really easy to slide back into there. I also found that this pouch was the perfect size for carrying the things I wanted to take with me on these slightly longer runs. So in here I would put my phone, I like to take a little Ziploc bag with baby wipes, obviously my keys, a small sun cream, um, and I've even put in here, in the winter I put a buff in here that I you know, take with me to use on my head or around my neck if it's a bit chilly. Uh, put my gloves into my pocket of whatever I'm running in, so it's been great for that. It will also fit some snacks, um, sort of nuts or dates and things like that, and some gels if I want to take those. So it's been a really good little waste pack. And one of the big, big pluses for me is it hardly bounces up and down. Now it does depend on the material of the top you're wearing or, or shorts, depending on what, what you're going to actually put this directly over. If you're wearing slightly shiny material, it will slide a little, but um, it's nothing to worry about. I really like this belt. It's also got these bungee straps at the side and this one here I used to take my GoPro with me. Um, it might seem that it might be a bit bulky but it fits in there and I tighten it up and it doesn't move. It's really good. I'm really happy with it. Now all these items I'm talking about today you may not be able to find the exact same model because the companies are always developing and changing the gear that they produce but I will put uh, links in the description below so you can take a look at them all and you will find something very similar. So then came the day when I discovered trail running and this is my new love, absolutely love it. Um, and I needed to take more with me so I wanted to take a fleece, change of socks, a small first aid kit, you know all the things that you will need if you're staying out a longer period of time. So again I did my research, lots of reviews read and I decided on this Ultimate Direction vest. Again I've been really pleased with it, it's super light. So two water bottles, one in each of these pouches. They are these flexible squishy bottles and it's simply a question of pulling up on this as you're running. This, this elastic here is for your trekking poles. It also has two zip pockets on the front which my phone fits in perfectly and anything I want to access really easily. And then when you turn it round it will take a hydration pack in here, a two litre hydration pack, but I don't use it for that. I like to, it's, it's like a stretchy nice stretchy sack on the back which holds a surprisingly large amount of stuff. I mean in here I put my fleece and my buff and everything else I want to take with me. And then beneath the sack there is another zipped pocket here which I find useful for putting things like some money, a credit card, my car keys and things like that. So you can really make this vest snug to your body with this cinching system at the back and I'll, you'll be able to see in a video um, how it works. So I've been really pleased with it and I tend to take this when I'm going out for up to about two hours um, I will take this jacket with me. So then I decided I wanted to stay out a little bit longer, possibly go a bit further on different terrain. So I had another look and came up with this raid light vest, which I absolutely love. It's super light, but holds such a lot of stuff. It was actually developed by the ultra runner, Elizabeth Barnes, and she obviously knows a thing or two about what you need from a jacket in a multi-day race. 
So again, it's got the two pockets on the front, which take these squishy, flexible bottles. And these are my favourite uh, of this type of bottle. They are just so easy to access. I actually thought they would be quite annoying being right up here during the run, but they're not. It means you can just turn around and get a drink whenever you like. And the valve is just so efficient. Sometimes I find with these sort of bottles that I'm fiddling around for a while, trying to pull up and trying to do the bite to get access to the water, but it's, you never have that with these. It's really easy. So there are two deep pockets on the front for phone and gloves and things like that, and one on this side as well. But the thing I find really awesome about this bag is this huge capacity sack on the back. So it's a roll top, so it clips onto the front. So I'll do it. And if I can show you, it unrolls to this huge capacity bag. So it's got a Velcro top and it can you really can get such a lot in there. I've even taken a flask of coffee on a run with me during lockdown when all the coffee shops were closed. So really great. I take so much in it. I am not um, an ultra light runner. I like to take all my comforts with me. So basically to fasten it up again, put your gear in there, roll it down, and then clip it onto these at the front, both sides. And there it is. It's got a pocket here, a zip pocket at the bottom here, which I put again my uh, credit card money and car keys in there that's a great place for those uh, it's a superb bag it's also got this really unique and fantastic actually um, system to tighten up the vest on you at the side so it's just this this clicky clicky dial here that you turn one way to tighten up and the other way to unfasten so if you were tightening it up if I come closer you, you can hear that there and it just tightens and brings in brings this in close so you can get it just how just get the fit just how you want another feature of this jacket is these two elastic straps here are designed to carry your trekking poles and I wasn't sure about this at first I thought having trekking poles across here might not work for me but it's great it's super comfortable and the best thing is they're just so easy to take in and out that you hardly have to stop I really like that so this is the bag I would use um, if I was going out all day to do a mix of uh, running and walking. I think you can tell that I really like this raid light vest. So I hope you found this video on my fave ways to carry water useful. Um, as new products come out and I test those as well, I will update you.